Hi Scorpio, welcome to your end of September Love Tower reading. So Scorpio, we're looking at whatever energies and messages need to come out regarding your love life or love situation and see what's going on. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Scorpio. So we have the Earth Magic Oracle here. So I'm going to get you some opening messages with this deck. And then we're going to jump into your reading. All right, Scorpio. Welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. So welcome in, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, end of September. Can you believe that already? Love Tarot reading. Let's see what we have for you. All right, let's take a look at your messages first. Eagle, communion. Mountain, strength. Meadow, vulnerability. And rain, purification. I'm almost feeling like uh, overcoming, like taking this oath of faith, um, overcoming, you know, strong, courageous, and brave, purifying, but yet still, still being open and vulnerable to the energies around you. So I feel like I feel like this could be about new love coming in, um, Scorpio. So I keep these energies open to whatever comes out, and it could be any kind of given situation. I feel like, yes, I overcome a lot. I had to purify myself. Rain, water, you are a water sign. Uh, but, you know, I'm still open and vulnerable, but I've taken, taken an oath to myself. Um, and I've taken those steps to... Because you think a communion is usually like a... Uh, you know, like you go to church, you get you give of yourself, and then you receive, and it's sort of like a ceremonial celebrate, celebratory, receive, giving and receiving kind of energy, but gives you the right of passage through the giving. You know, you know if that kind of makes sense. So it's like, yeah, I gave him my a lot of myself, but I had to purify and overcome. And it's my right of passage to be happy, and I'm willing to be open and vulnerable. But I know now, you know. The hurdles I've overcome, my own strength in uh, healthy boundaries. So that makes sense. It's like an oath to yourself, you know, like, yes, I have the right of passage, but I'm still going to be strong and stand up for myself, but yet I'm open to whatever I am to receive, right? All right, so let's get into it, Scorpio, and see what we need to know about this. So we have the um, Tower of Dreams here. So do your reading with this deck. And at the end, I will close it out with some divine oracle messages. All right? I always forget the name of that deck. The divine energy oracle <laughs> messages. All right. So what do we need to know for Scorpio end of September? Love Tower reading. Tell me about this energy for Scorpio. What do we need to know? I feel like it's about new love, but let's see. Let's see. Three of Wands, yeah. Something coming in the very near future. Ace of Swords. Aces definitely are about new beginnings. I felt an Ace coming, but I didn't say anything. I was feeling more Ace of Cups, but Aces st still are new beginnings. Nine of Swords. Star. There's the healing. I kind of talked about that. Devil. Mm. In the Knight of Swords reversed. Yeah, I feel like you're you're the, in this energy of, yeah, yeah. If something comes my way, I am not rushing anything. I'm going to be wise, practical, and smart about things. I'm not going to rush into anything. I feel like you've done a lot of healing work over a very toxic uh, situation or relationship. You know, very stressful as well. So there had to be a lot, a lot of healing on your part. But this is also, you know, balanced, divinely guided energy. Things meant to be. Wish dream come true. So it's like you, yeah, you've done the work and you kind of know that coming in the very near future is some sort of either clarity. You could have had the wake up call already. Just knowing something's coming in for me. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, my wish dream come true. Something I've been hopeful and wishing for. We do have the rainbow there. And having that clarity of mind. Truth. You know, cutting out what's no longer serving you. Standing up, telling it what is, uh, how it is. Clear cut communication. 
and that's also about successful new beginnings. So something's coming in the very near future. I did feel like this was about new. So let's see, we have Aquarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. All right. So let's see, what else do we need to know for Scorpio? End of September. Love tarot reading. What else do we need to know? Okay. Hermit. Yeah, definitely I'm getting single vibes. Getting single vibes here. Five of Wands reverse. Yeah, no no conflict right now in your life and you kind of want it to be that way. So you're kind of happy. You could be more reclusive now than you've ever been. But you're kind of happy that way. Because you've been through a lot. Heartache, pain, and disappointment. But you're still open to happiness, joy, and wish fulfillment. And this is doing, you know, things that make you happy. You know, fulfilling your own dreams, desires, you know, that you can. But yet still open to, like I said, vulnerability. You know, happy times and wish fulfillment. Page of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Hmm. I get this sense and energy like you know something's coming in. You just don't know when. And uh, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups Reverse. So definitely there's, you feel like right now there's no energy out there for new love. But you're still kind of happy and, you know, hopeful. But you're like, yeah, but I'm not seeing anything. Ace of Cups, Page of Cups Reverse. I don't see anything around me. And I'm kind of open and vulnerable to the energies. Still while being strong and, you know, having my boundaries up. Because I had to purify from a lot. From a lot. And I'm open, open to... The rite of passage in the communion of accepting what comes my way. I keep seeing the image of accepting the communion. So that's being open and receptive to receiving. Okay, so we have Pisces showing up here and Virgo. We are in Virgo season right now. I also feel like you shut yourself off from love for quite a while here too with the Page of Cups, Ace of Cups reversed. Especially if you were going through uh, a lot in the healing process. Um, nine of Cups to me also gives me a single energy because, I mean, kind of all the nines do. They're alone on the nine of wands and uh, on the nines, you know, and the nine of Cups is about being, you know, kind of fulfilling your own wishes, your own happiness, joy, and they're all alone. They're single in this card, for me anyway. But anyway, Scorpio, let's see what else we need to know. End of September. Scorpio, please. What else do we need to know? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Judgment. There you are, Scorpio. Ace of Wands. Exciting new beginning. Page of Swords. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Okay. And on the bottom... Knight of Wands. So right away, what I'm feeling here, uh, Scorpio, we have you right here with the Judgment card. There's some sort of exciting new opportunity here, but we have the Page of Swords. Um, this could be somebody you meet online, or you could be doing a little research, maybe spying on somebody. There is a new opportunity here that seems very exciting, and there could be a lot of chemistry Knight of Wands. You could be a little bit worried about this person. Like, oh no, I don't want to get hurt again. So I'm going to do my own research and make my own decision whether or not it would work. Eight of Pentacles reversed. So whether or not you've met this person already, you could have. Uh, whether it's online or like I said, you're kind of you know looking this person up online. This could be someone also looking at you online through social media. We're going to pull more here because, I mean, I don't always take the Knight of Wands as being a player. I do see, you know, next to the queen, this is someone very, like, go-getter, strong, courageous, brave, going to go after what I want. So some com someone could be noticing you and very, even if it's just online, attracted to you, wanting, taking action towards you. Um, but you could be, be, you could be, you could be in the energy right now of being very cautious around this whole situation as well. Judgment here. You had to do a lot of healing, forgiving, and releasing as well. But this is also a wake-up call, call to action, call of the universe. I don't feel like it's a resurrection. I don't. Um, but it's also things meant to be, soul contracts, past lives. 
So we have you here, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Sag. So I'm going to pull more. So tell me more. Like, what else do we need to know about this energy? Like four. Okay, that's way too many. For Scorpio, what else do we need to know about this energy? For Scorpio, please. What are we looking at here? What do we need to know? Okay. Ten of Swords. Tree of Life. Hmm, interesting. Fool. King of Swords. On the Page of Swords, Two of Cups. Four of Cups. If this is somebody you've been chatting with online or you've got to know online or maybe you met them in person and then you decided just to connect on social media and get to know each other that way, I'm de definitely feeling a very, very cautious energy, but I also feel like here, Scorpio, now you can switch the energies around. Um, somebody definitely, definitely had to do like a whole energetic reset because I feel like there were strong ties in the past to have the tree of life. So it could have been a past life karmic relationship. Um, the roots run very, very deep. So there had to be ending here and a total complete energetic reset, uh, clean slate start jumping into life now with no baggage so this was a, something deep here that definitely took a long time to uh, clear your energy of or maybe this is a person something they were going through if it's not you but the king of hearts i mean somebody here could be divorced whether it's you them but there is a connection here on the two of cups with intense attraction and chemistry but there's some uncertainty here about jumping in Ace of Cups there to something new because we're being very cautious. So, I mean, this King of Swords does speak with truth and clarity. So, if this is someone that you are talking to and you're unsure because maybe you met them online or whatever, you know, this could be someone in um, military, law enforcement, medical, education, communications in some way, works with the mind, decision making, leadership. So, law too, if it's not law enforcement, it just could be the law in general in some way. Um, yeah, I, I think there's something good that could happen here. Somebody kind of like needs to be perhaps just a little more open and vulnerable, even though somebody may be like, yeah, I'm, I'm open, I'm going to be vulnerable to the energies coming in. Then when it's here, it's like, closing up a little bit and it's like yeah remember when you said to yourself that you're going to be more open and vulnerable there's a new beginning here though with the fool energy so we have aquarius gemini showing up here all right and i'm looking at this one here for the new beginning so i definitely feel like it's new or newer however it resonates for you I'm hearing this song, and I don't know, it's kind of like a alternative rock song. It's either from the late 90s or early 2000s, and I'm not sure who sings it so much. It's everything I want, it's everything I need. But that's all I'm hearing right now, and I know, kind of know the song, but I can't think of what it is. Alright, anyway, you know what, leave it below. Okay, so let's see here, Scorpio. We're going to do one more row, but if it's resonating so far, please do like, comment, all the good things. I greatly appreciate it. Right, one more row with clarifiers for Scorpio. What do we need to know about this? Palace of Swords reversed. Page of Wands. Eight of Wands. Three of Pentacles. There is growth and expansion here. Tower. It's a big wake-up call something unexpected seven of wands reverse and that is the energy of being open and vulnerable and letting down our guard right there so i do see here scorpio here's the awakening epiphany the big change shock surprise revelation coming in definitely there's a, there could be a lot of growth here if we take action on this it's exciting exciting invitation uh connection here and the palace of swords in reverse that was not like believing like i don't know uh, i mean there's four palace cards on this in this deck and they all represent what each suit means so the palace of swords if it was upright that'd be li living in 
total truth, clarity, communication, clarity of mind, um, you know, telling the truth, telling it like it is, cutting out things no longer serving us. So it's like somebody still needs to clear up their mind a little bit here to just, you know, explore this because I see there could be a good connection or a good uh, romance that could start to happen here. It's like someone told themselves, I'm going to be open and vulnerable. Yeah, I got that right of passage, but yet it comes in as like, phew, close right up. And it's like, remember what you told yourself. <laughs> I keep hearing that. So let's see, we have Sagittarius in this could represent Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries. This could be happening right now. If you have not met them already, uh, it could be happening very, very soon. Or going through this wake up call like right now. Two cards, a wake-up call, Tower and Judgment. Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Hmm, let's see what else. Ten of Pentacles. I do feel like somebody has walked away from something. I keep feeling this is you. Um, I mean, in the universe wants you to be strong enough, and the Nine of Pentacles isn't really. So... Sun, yeah, pure enlightenment here. Growth, expansion, healing, love, light, abundance, everything positive. That, you know, you can be strong enough to explore this opportunity. Ten of Cups, but it's like, uh, what if I get hurt again? Palace of Coins reversed. What if? There's a lot of someone here saying, what if, what if? When they thought they were ready, open, vulnerable, but, you know, Sometimes we can say it, think it, but then when it comes to doing it, it's a whole different uh, situation. Chariot could be, you know, coming to see each other, positive movement forward, traveling. That's usually success, victory, balance. King of Cups. That could be about hiding our love and emotions. Eight of Swords, though, is about unblocking the energy to experience love. Let it move forward. Just like the Knight of Cups, that's you, Scorpio. Love, emotions, feelings, having faith. Like I said, the faith for the rite of passage to have the Palace of Cups, which is total peace, harmony, joy, love, light, compassion, intuition, peace and harmony with someone very stable. King of Pentacles here. Could be still running out of fear, Seven of Swords, but um, the opportunity is here. But it's about taking the opportunity and letting it move forward. Cancer energy. Because I feel like this is going to be good. But somebody needs to act on what they say. All right. So I don't want to keep repeating myself. But, you know, if you know, you know. Like I said. All right. Scorpio. So we have the Divine Energy Oracle. I'm going to get you some messages. See what else you need to know. And also everything you do need to know, Scorpio, is down below in the description box. Lots down there, as well as my website. You can check it out if you'd like to. Oracle messages for Scorpio. Go with the flow, yeah. Go with the flow. Just let it be. Have faith, yep. Right. We saw the Hierophant. It said faith just a minute ago. What else? Raise your vibration, yeah. So... I mean, you can say, yeah, I'm in a high vibration. You could say it and think it. But when it comes to doing things in a high vibration, sometimes it's a little bit of a different story. Let's see. Engage higher reason. Hmm. I just feel this energy of maybe overthinking just a little too much. Wake up call. Wow. Back. Okay. A look at that admit your vulnerabilities vulnerability there and we have the seven of wands reversed count your blessings don't miss this blessing a decision needs to be made be decisive trust the divine plan and i do have correct your mistake so you don't want to make a mistake here i feel scorpio all right scorpio that's what i have for you so i do hope that helped that resonate again everything you need to know is down below i am wishing you the best and i shall see you next time